To change the colour of a selected object, we can click on a predetermined colour from this palette at the bottom of the screen. But if we want to choose a colour that isn't listed here, we need to open the Fill and Stroke tool from the Object menu. The fill is the main colour of the shape. To change it, click on the flat colour icon and change the colour mode to Wheel. From here, we can change the colour by clicking and dragging this little bar on the rainbow ring and the circle within the triangle. We can also make the colour transparent using this alpha bar. If we want to give our object a gradient, we can do so using the linear gradient icon. We can also edit the gradient by clicking on this icon. From here, we can change any colour in our gradient by clicking on the point and changing it using either a wheel or the swatch. We can also add more colours to our gradient by double clicking anywhere on the gradient line and editing that dot like we did with the beginning and end. We can also change the direction of the gradient by clicking and dragging these points at the end of the line. When we're happy with our gradient, click off our object to set it. We can add borders to our objects. These are called strokes. To add one, select your object, then head to the Stroke Paint menu and click on the flat colour icon. You can pick a colour for it here. You can change various aspects of the line in the Stroke Style menu, like the widths, dashes, and corner type. This allows you to really make objects look and feel your own. G'day! Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share me around. <laughs> if you have any questions about this content, or you just want to hang out, I have Twitter, Patreon, Discord, and a website. <laughs> See you later!